Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showing y'all how I do my gel nails at the house. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to do these at the house, I'll show you right now how I get it done. So let's just get started. The things that I'm using are going to be, I'm using this pH bond, which is like a dehydrator. You're going to need this um, to put on your nails first. I'm also using this OPI base coat looks like this my color of choice is this opi tiramisu for two this was on sale um gel polishes are kind of expensive so i just went ahead and got that i think i've had that color before and then of course i'm going to need to use a top coat this is the top coat that i'll be using is also by opi so you will need that as well and then the main thing that you need is to have a lamp. You need some type of UV lamp to cure your nail polish. I got that off of Amazon and this is the box that it came in. It's a two-in-one UV and LED light. It just came with the lamp, the power cord, and two little replacements. So before I get started, this is just what my nails are looking like. I'm going to take a file and I'm going to just shake them up and file them down clip them down if i need to and just repeat the process on all of my nails then i'm going in with the ph bond this product is just used to like dehydrate your nails and take all of the oil out of your nails so that the gel polish will stick and you want to apply that and let it dry then go in with your base coat. Try to do really thin layers. I heard that doing thin layers is a lot better than doing thick layers. And that's what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna cure my nails in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I'm going to do that twice. Next, I'm taking the color, going again, thin layers, and I'm going to just paint that on as thin as possible, y'all. I usually paint really thick. So that was a struggle for me to paint thin, but you wanna paint it on as thin as possible on each hand and let that cure for 60 seconds. And I did that about twice just to be safe. Just a helpful tip, you wanna make sure you clean up your cuticles as you go. You don't want to cure your nails with polish all over your cuticles. So when finishing up your second coat, you want to make sure you get your coats nice and even. Now for my top coat, I am only doing one coat. And just like the other ones, you want to make sure that it's very thin and even. For my last and final coat, I am letting it dry a little longer than usual. I'm going to do about 60 seconds, three times, so three minutes total. And this is the finished product, y'all. These are my nails. I think I did a really, really good job for doing this home by myself. The last step that you want to do is make sure that you get some rubbing alcohol and wipe down the nails. This will remove the sticky coating off the top of your nails that gel polish sometimes leaves. And this is very important. If you do not do this, you will feel like your nails are still like semi-wet. They'll be very sticky and uncomfortable. So make sure you do this and you're good to go you have done your man manicure at the house by yourself like perfect so this cuticle oil that i'm going to use is optional if you have dry cuticles you definitely want to do this and you can just put this on all of your cuticles rub it in it'll give your nails a nice little shine and you're good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um this is just me more so showing you how i did this at home and I'm finishing off by just fouling up the edges. And that's it. That's it. The product is done. It looks good. You're happy. You're smiling. No more crusty nails during this quarantine. You are good to go, girl. So thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see y'all in my next video.